All right, guys, so we got the carburetor off the XR150L, and it's a uh, the Kian. And if you look right in here, it's stamped 25. Paperwork said it was a 22, so I got my calipers out. Get over here to the correct side to measure from. And when you measure it, it shows right at 26. And if, as deep as I can get in there, it tapers down to about a 19. It actually goes a little smaller than that, but I can't get in there. Uh, if you measure it this way, it's right at a 26. Oops, I wasn't in there. Hang on. Yeah, right at 26. So, in theory, I don't know if they're calling this a 25 millimeter, I'm assuming by the stamp but maybe somebody can look at those numbers and figure out exactly what it is, but it looks like a 26 millimeter to a 25 to me. We're gonna go inside and check out the jetting and see what they're putting in these things. Get back to you in a minute. Back on the carburetor for the uh, XR150L. This is your choke lever. This is all the way down in the run position. That's half choke, that's full choke. So for a cold start, in the winter time, you're probably going to need it all the way up. My R2 particular bikes, we start them in the down position, the full run position, and they start instantly. They start right up. Carburetor has a 35 idle jet or pilot jet in it, and it has a 105 main jet. And it's jetted pretty darn good. They start good, they run good in the mid range. They don't really bog or stutter, and they run good on the high end as well. This screw is on the right-hand side of your motorcycle. That is your idle adjustment, should you need to adjust your idle up or down. Screw it in, or clockwise, for raising the idle in the opposite direction for lowering it. Right here is where you would adjust your idle mixture but they have the EPA plug in it. I know that you can put a screw in them and pull those out and gain access to it, but we try not to break the law around here, so we don't do that. Other than that, that's about it. Um, should be in pretty good shape.